everybody, my name is Margarita. I just wanted to welcome you to this video. Um, if you've ever tried to sleep train before, you know what an emotional process it really can be. Um, so just to give you a little background information, um, I have a six-month-old daughter, Sophia, and she, she started to sleep through the night when she was three months old, I know. It's crazy, right? So she used to sleep through the night really well, and then all of a sudden, she had a sleep regression at like five months. So for me, I thought that it was like the end of the world. I was like, she's never going to sleep in her bed again. And then uh, the new year came, and I know it's really cliche, but I made it my new year's resolution to get her sleep train. If you want to sleep train with me, uh, please keep watching. Thank you. Bye. So today is January 7th, 2019, and I am trying to sleep train my daughter, Sophia. And it's breaking my heart. Um, it's currently been like almost 45 minutes, and she's crying. Of course, I've went in and talked to her and like patted her and I'm trying to keep it really cool but it's kind of hard so right now I just have the shower running and my husband's on the monitor just watching her making sure her little legs don't get stuck in her crib um like I said it's breaking my heart so I just have to like close the door and have my husband on duty because it's really hard for me and today is the first official day she had her two naps during the day I'm not 100% on like the time thing yet, um, but I'm just trying. This is my first official day of sleep training, so I will give you an update soon. All right, bye. Okay, so day one of sleep training was a complete fail. Dad, what happened? He couldn't do it. He was upset. And this is what Sophie is doing. Sophie, what happened? I'm so sorry. Oh, I love you. Your eyes are so red. Oh, tomorrow we'll do it again. The next morning after it's um, January 8th and last night was a total fail. She was so she was crying so bad that me and my husband were just like Let's just bring her in our bed and Like so that was a fail. So technically this is the first day again. I'm trying to get her to take a nap It's 1030 right now. I still haven't gotten the actual timing schedule Like on point, but I'm trying to just get her used to falling asleep on her own so I'm gonna do the thing where I put her in her crib once she starts crying go in after three minutes then, you know, then go in after five minutes, then every 10 minutes and see if that will work. Yesterday, uh, I didn't kind of use like a timeline, which was probably my fault. I just kind of went in when I felt like it, which I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, so, this is how day two is going. <gasps> she just goes from like zero to 100 so quick. Like the moment that I walk out after the initial just hanging out in her crib, she like knows that it's a negative thing and it's just breaking my heart. This is like way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Sophia, are you tired? Look at her eyes, she's so tired. She just doesn't wanna sleep. I tried to nurse her and then put her back in and, here, sorry. I tried to nurse her and then like put her back in bed and then she just was even more upset that I was like leaving her. So I don't know, but Day two, first nap, not going too well. Okay, we're gonna try again soon. So my husband's car has a perfect little spot to put my phone to videotape because I'm not gonna hold the camera while I'm driving with my child in the car. Um, so sleep training didn't go well. She didn't sleep. She literally was just hysterically crying the whole time, hyperventilating. Day two is just a bust, okay? I'm trying really hard. Like, she slept. <sighs> she slept from the time she was like three to five months perfectly. I would nurse her, put her in her bed. Now she understands the concept of me leaving her. So she just freaks out. And I'm sorry, but I know nobody wants to see their child in pain, but I just can't sit there and let her hyperventilate while I'm just sitting and eating a bowl of cereal. Like, this is gonna be the hardest week of my life, other than probably when I gave birth to her because it's breaking my heart. So, 
hopefully the next video is not this way but I'm just saying how I feel I'm just keeping it real as a mama okay so okay so today is day two it's January 8th and she's currently sleeping in her crib right now but we kind of cheated because she was in the bed with Robbie and she fell asleep on her own nobody was doing anything to help her sleep so um, it's 1130 I just put her in her crib I nursed her a little bit before I put her down and she didn't cry when I left her, so we'll see if she sleeps through the night. So as you can uh, probably tell by these uh, circles under my eyes, Sophia woke up every single hour last night. And then until it got to four or five o'clock in the morning and I just brought her in bed with me. She's sleeping in bed with Robbie right now. Um, I'm so tired. I haven't been this tired since I gave birth, so I hope you guys can hear me. I just don't want to wake them up, so that's it. Hi guys. So I didn't document earlier because I had a crazy day. I was out all day, um, but last night um, she slept for about two hours, then woke up, put her back down. She slept for another two hours, and then I was so exhausted that I like caved and just brought her in bed with me because it was like three o'clock in the morning and I was exhausted. Um, but I look so tired right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. But, um, just keeping it real. Okay. Just be a bra in the background. Try not to have any weird backgrounds. Um, so today she took two naps, one hour increments, but that was only cause I was in Tampa. So I was driving and that kind of soothes her to sleep. So I'm not going to really count that because like she always sleeps in the car. And, um, but I was glad to give her two naps today. So other than that, um, today went pretty well. Today's day three. Um, she's sleeping right now, but I did nurse her to sleep. So I wasn't supposed to do that. But honestly, I was just trying to get her down and just see if she could actually sleep in her crib. For right so today is, well, not actually today. Tonight is day four of sleep training and there's a reason why I have such a happy look on my face right now. I don't want to jinx myself, so knock on wood. Knock on wood. Sophia, I didn't, I only checked on her on the three minute checkup. And she's still sleeping. Guys, are you ready for this? I got to take a shower, shave my legs, do my whole nighttime routine. I even got to put on freaking eye serum. I don't want to jinx this, but I think I'm making progress. So I'm pretty excited right now. Um, it's 1130. She went down at like 1030. I know it was late, but I had to go pick up, pick her up for my mom's. It was a late night tonight. So not perfect on the timing wise, but I'm just hoping she'll sleep for a good amount of time. Also, I just wanted to also mention, which I don't know if I mentioned earlier, is that she um, got her vaccinations today and I've just been giving her every six hours her um, baby Tylenol and it seemed to help a lot and I've been giving her a little bit of gas and colic drops because she got the rotavirus um, vaccine too which affects the belly so I've been giving her that as well I don't know if that has anything to do with it but I was just kind of doing it as a preventative thing so um my skin looks really bad in this lighting, but anyways, I'm working on that too, so maybe I'll be able to see the progression of my skin because I've been doing um, a few different things with my skin. Anyways, besides that point, um, I'm, I'm really ha genuinely happy right now, really, because she's just getting such a good sleep, and for me and my husband too, to kind of be able to relax a little bit and put her down at a certain time would be nice. So um, that's my check-in. It's not as long as yesterday because yesterday was a way longer chronicle because I woke up every single hour last night until five o'clock in the morning when I caved, um, which I probably said earlier. So I'm going to finish it there and um, say good night. I'll let you know how everything went in the morning. I'll see. Bye guys. Life-changing uh, chopstick right here. La Ossiton, Shea Butter. Good stuff.
always keep it in my diaper bag and Fenty Beauty Glow Lip Gloss. Anyways, y'all. 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 I'm really a Florida girl, aren't I? So last night, I'm a very happy mama right now. Last night was day four of sleep training and I'm not bragging at all guys. I don't want you to take it like that. I'm just so excited that I finally got her and it did not take that long to get her settled down. I already kind of told you guys what happened putting her down. So after I put her down, hi baby. I think she's a little still hungry. Um, but anyways, so after I put her down uh, for her um, for bedtime, it was it ended up being like 10:30, which was was kind of late, really late. But whatever. So she slept from 10:30 until 2:30 in the morning. She whined a little bit. She seemed a little bit like she was maybe hungry or pushing for gas. So I kind of just woke up and patted her. Like I I picked her up because she seemed not like she was whining, but she actually seemed like distressed. So I was like, okay. I don't want to just leave her to cry, obviously. So I went in and I just like comforted her. I picked her up. I patted her on the back a little bit. And uh, I just nursed her a little bit. Because sometimes she gets a little hungry in the middle of the night. So um, that's what I did. And I put her back down and she slept. Are you guys ready for this? She slept until 8.30 this morning. Like 8.30. That's amazing. And honestly, like... I know she can sleep well because she normally sleeps with us in bed and she will sleep until like 11, like 11 a.m. And like she'll sleep almost till noon, this girl. So I know she can sleep. It's just a matter of getting her to stay sleeping and getting her to actually fall asleep on her own. And now finding out she likes sleeping on her belly. So maybe this whole time I kind of didn't know that about her. So I learned that. Um, but today I'm going to be working. That's why I'm in the more like, you know, professional attire, not in PJs for this video. But anyways, um, so I'm going to be working today. So I'm going to try to get my sister to put her down for two naps today. Hopefully if she's able to, um, and then tonight we're going to do the same thing. Today is, um, January 11th, my husband's birthday, actually happy birthday, babe. Um, anyways. So today is day five of sleep training Sophia, and it's been going really, really well. Um, right now it is, let's see, let me see. Okay, so it's 10.30 right now. I put her to bed um, at, I believe, 9, 9.30-ish. Um, it didn't really take her that long to go down. I did her nighttime routine. I put her in her bed. She fussed a little bit. I only went in at the three minute mark because if I didn't mention before, I do nighttime routine, put her down three, five, ten minute increments. Um, she didn't even get to the five minute increment, which was amazing. Um, and then today, um, I, I keep saying, um, sorry, but, um, really, but, um, anyways, uh, today earlier, uh, I went to work a little bit later than what I was initially planning just because of schedule, uh, scheduling stuff. And I ended up going on until one. So I got to give her her morning nap, which was nice. And she actually, I was at my parents' house and when I had talked to my doctor about sleep training, she was saying, sleep training, she was saying that I should always be in the same place every time that I do the new routine. So I kind of took that as a challenge to myself and today I was at my sister's and I uh, put Sophie down and did the same thing, except of course, like, you know, obviously giving her bath and stuff because it wasn't bath time, but I did the same exact thing, trying to calm her down and doing everything like that. Um, so it worked really well. She ended up falling asleep. She slept for like an hour and a half, which was amazing. And especially because we weren't even completely silent. She was in the living room. And we were, we were there, of course, we weren't being overly loud or anything, but we were just trying to keep a little low voices, but we by no means were completely silent. And she slept for a good amount of time. So that was a victory for me. And the second one, I don't think she took a really good nap after that because she was kind of with other family. Um, but anyway, anyways, um, tonight's going really well. It's been like an hour and a half of her sleeping. And um, pretty much everything's going really well. Um, I'm just really glad and right now I just have a snack I'm watching 
try not to laugh X factor and I have a little glass of wine right here which actually is a little watered down because I'm a, your girl's a lightweight that's Pinot Noir it's pretty good um, that was actually from last night uh, dinner we got a bottle and took it off because I never could finish it but anyways so that was that today so today is the sixth day of sleep training and as you can see here we have little Sophia um, last night I put her down at about um, 9.45 and she slept this morning until 8.30 completely through. Um, I heard one time she kind of fussed a little bit but she soothes herself. She soothes herself straight back to sleep. So I think, and she's ready for her next nap because we've just been hanging out. It's my day off. So we're just kind of uh, being cozy. I have a robe on and she's just cuddling up with the blanket on the couch with me and um i sleep training i think is finally finally doing well for me um so pretty much i think that the way that her schedule is going to be is 9 30 10 30 she's going to go to sleep and around 7 30 8 30 she's going to go to bed and maybe one time in the middle of the night she'll wake up for a little bit of milk if she wants other than that it seems like she hasn't been doing that um, so that's my update for day six. Hey guys, so another update for day five of sleep training. Last night went really well. I already, oh look, there's a deer. <laughs> Gosh, get distracted easily. Um, so last night I woke up only, okay, I'm saying only because it was like close to the time she was supposed to be waking up. So she slept a good amount until 12:30. then she slept from 12:30 until like 4 30 woke up a few times and then now at 7 30 we woke up so she did really well because she did fall asleep like instantly so i was happy about that um but that's pretty much just the update for last okay, night so i just wanted to make just a quick little um clip of this i'm probably not going to do the last day because i feel like since about day five um it's been pretty much the same thing she pretty much by the fourth fourth and fifth day she kind of got it so I don't want to make this too redundant so I'm just going to close it here so I just figured that I would grab a cup of coffee and I would just have a little chat about how everything went so this might be a long video this might have been a long video but there was honestly no way for me to portray a realistic way of sleep training other than just doing video diaries because you could see all the dark circles under my eyes you could see all the tiredness the frustration and the hurt honestly at the beginning of the video because I was so upset about her literally crying for 45 minutes so this is just my um, experience I'm not telling anybody how to sleep train their baby I just thought that it would be cool to document my personal experience and um, overall, I think sleep training is a great is a great thing. Um, I kind of went based off of the fervor method, um, but I kind of just did my own twists here and there. Um, so pretty much putting them down, obviously having your nighttime routine, and then you know um, going in three, five, and then ten minute increments. So it's not the exact method, but that was the one that I based my um, my way off of, and it seemed to work great. Sophia slept through. Um, the fourth night was the first night she slept through and, um, yeah, it was in the beginning really, really hard for me, but I made it through and now I'm so glad I did because now I have time at the end of the night to kind of regroup before I have to go to bed and over, overall, it's just really healthy for your baby to be able to self-soothe themselves and not always have to um, be with you because I think at a young age it could cause maybe a little bit of separation anxiety for them um, if they're used to always having you there 24 7 and when they wake up you're not there and they cry so that's just my personal opinion thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys like this video and if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like me to make I'd really love to because honestly I enjoyed filming this video and just like um, telling you guys my feelings and what's going on so like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Sophia, do you have boogie woogie woogies? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, 
Do you have boogie boogie wiggies? Do you have boogie woogies?